Hello crafting friends, welcome to my podcast. My name is Barbara Radzivikas. This is part three of lap quilting. I'm demonstrating how I do hand quilting, big stitches in my lap. I'm going to do some more lap quilting. Uh, I thought I'd show you a bit more um, on a different quilt. So, started the new quilt and um, this beautiful quilt is called Sisterhood. I found out what it was called. I had to do a bit of research because it's about a year and a half since I made it. Um, it was a PDF um, and it came in two sizes of box. You could either get a 12 inch or a 16 inch. I got both and um, I chose to make the 16 inch, which I really like. And it was um, $10 Australian. So I think it was about six pounds and I think it came from Canada. Um, Vareen Campbell, I'm, I'm thinking, designed it, and she designed it as a fundraiser for Women in Crisis. So that's a good, um, a good uh, a fundraiser. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just love the pattern. I think it's beautiful and um, perfect, really. So I made this quilt out of it. I made nine blocks and uh, nine 16 inch blocks I've chosen the um cottons let's see this is a block that i'm going to start with it's in the center i usually start in the center but you never know i could start anywhere really these are the threads i've chosen um after all that i thought the bright one was a bit too bright for the background so these are my um, and Baldani cottons. They are beautiful. They are variegated. Um, this is beautiful. This is my really special one. So I've kept it for a fair while and that's all that's left of it. So I'm going to use that one for the centre. And then there's this one. They have a lot of yellow and... Um, greens, pinks, nice subtle colours. Oh, one ran away. <laughs> There's this beautiful one with yellows and browns. So that's the threads that I've chosen. I've got the sticky tape, which is three quarters of an inch wide sticky tape. I have got tons of sticky tape that my husband got me from the post office. They come in packs of two. And I've got this trusty old um, tape dispenser that um, he probably found somewhere. Well, he was probably chucking it out and he salvaged it. So such a good um, a good guy to have around if you're looking for something. <laughs> Let's start. So I'll start by um, putting the tape down and I'm going to go from corner to corner. I'm thinking I'll go through the centre too. I, w I was at two minds, you know, about what to do in the centre. But I think I'm going to do a grid pattern all over with these lovely cottons. And to do that, I'm going to take the pins out on the diagonal to start with. This is a K-facet pattern, um, K-facet girl skirts, except for a climp <laughs> and uh, batik heads. So... We've got the pins out on the diagonal. It's been in for a fair while. Hoping that will cover it up. I'm going to a long stretch of sticky tape and I'm going to put it right on the corner and go exactly on that edge of seam there that's my first quilting line then I've got my little pins these are really sharp clean pins with little heads and I'm just going to pin along both sides with the flat pins and these are I call flat pins they're not the safety pins Pin along the edge of the sticky tape. 
to hold down, you know, more firmly what I'm going to quilt along in my lap because I don't want it to move and I don't want to have to redo the sticky tape or fiddle around really. So. I really love these little girls. They are, it's such a lovely pattern. I think it's still available on Etsy. Um, just type in Sisterhood Quilt. Um, comes as a PDF um, instantaneously to your computer or, in my case, my phone. And then John got it printed off at Officeworks. Um, yeah, and it's um, foundation paper piece. So each segment, there's um, eight segments to a block. Each segment is um, a foundation paper piece, and then it's so all the pieces are sewn together, and then you take the paper out. It's it's similar to English paper piecing, but not exactly the same. Because it's sewn on the sewing machine, it's very fast. Um, I found out how not to waste fabric. In the beginning, when I was making my cat quilt, I found that I had a lot of wastage, uh, you know, not big wastage, but like two inches of fabric was a waste. And um, I found out how not to do that with foundation paper piecing. I cut the pieces to fit the paper, uh, the pieces of fabric to fit the paper. And um, that was that. So I've got my first row pinned up. It's all secure. Taken my pins out, my um, curved pins. But as you see, there's a lot of space still around. So I'm going to put the pins in spaces that there is a lot of um, negative space without pins. Just because it's such a big block and I don't want, you know, we don't want things to move and we want a perfectly flat back without um, folds or things that drive you batty, you know. So best to do all this first. <laughs> yeah. You see, experience tells you put a lot of pins in. <laughs> so I have been very tired lately I think it's the arthritis but I wake up tired but I'm hoping that this is going to go well next step is to start hand quilting it it will take a few hours to hand quilt this block because when I finish going down this side and back up this side, I'll move the tape over, go down, and so on. So it will be a perfect grid, hopefully, when I've finished. And then I'll go this way, but I'll um, post more when I'm going the other way. Let's get on with it. I'm ready to start hand quilting. I've got the block ready. I've got a metre and a half thread to do up and down the the block. You see I've got a bit of <laughs> I also have my trusty equipment, my craft scissors, my pins to replace the pins and it has my threads in it too so they're all nice and safe and all together. So everything is together ready to go. So I'm putting my hand under the quilt. So I'll just, I'm left-handed too. So I'm putting my hand under the quilt block and I'm just grabbing here with my thumb and my palm and I've got my middle finger under exactly where I'm going to start stitching. I always start with a back stitch. I don't start with a knot. I don't like knots, mainly because 
I'm thinking they make a hole. <laughs> they probably break a thread or two, but you know, I just do a double stitch and I've never had a problem. I do have an extra long thread here. So yeah, so take a th um, stitch back and then just start quilting. I really love this Volandi um, cotton. I also like pearl cotton and DCM, DMC. And I like um, size 8. So you can see I have started to quilt. So continuing at the very edge of the tape and the seam allowance. And not pulling the stitches too tight. We don't want um we don't want tight stitches. I always have a couple of stitches on at a go. So that is one, two, three four stitches so I count the upper and the bottom stitches and this is how we go it's very relaxing um, hand quilting in your lap don't need the frame or the, the hoop so you don't have to store anything I just gather it up These threads are so beautiful. I also, with my middle finger, um, sort of push the quilt up to the needle. So it uh, it's easy to catch the fabric. I just do running stitches, you know. Any person can do running stitches. That is why it's such a a fantastic way to make quilts. And nothing's wrong, really. You just have fun. <laughs> I'm coming up to the arm. So I'm not going to quilt through the arm. I'm going to quilt around the arms and around the girls. So all I'm doing with this thread is quilting in the white negative part of the block. I'm up to the arm now. So, and I want to make a grid. So I've got my thumb under the quilt and the tape. So I've got them all together. I'm going to take a stitch there and I'm going through and coming up on the other side of her arm there I'm not going to take another double stitch because I've already done that and I'm going to keep on going oops good idea to keep hold of the <laughs> of the needle <laughs> okay so you can see now getting towards the middle of the block. You see how there's sort of a rocking motion going on with my middle finger towards the needle. Makes it easier to catch it. And I can also feel, you know, the needle so that I know it's going right through the fabric. Three layers of um, the quilt top batting and back careful not to loop the cotton around the pin and forget to undo it <laughs> so now I'm up to the middle of the block oh I'm just <laughs> I'm up to the intersection of the skirts, so going to make sure that I don't um, put the quilting in their skirts. 
and this is the center of the block just here there are a number of layers when you um, I don't use a thimble either I just use my finger which gets really you know quilter's fingers after a, after a quilt um, with foundation paper piecing you end up with a number of layers at the intersection so you have to be careful that you catch all the all the three layers plus the um, the extra fabric it's not difficult and being um, cotton fabric I don't know how it is with um, other fabrics such as linen and stuff I haven't tried that um, I haven't also tried silk um, piecing because for one thing silk is very expensive and it would I don't know I don't know whether my fingers would be able to hold you know the slippery layers together so I stick with 100% quilting cotton or really just cotton <laughs> As long as it's 100% cotton, I'm right. I know you can get beautiful mixes of um, content, you know, for quilting fabric. And when I first started in the 90s, that's all you could get, all polished cotton from England. And my first quilt was a hexagon quilt, a big hexagon quilt. And it was um, made with polished cotton from England. And it had... Um, it had a um, country scene on it. It was only two colours. I think it was uh, blue and white. So it looked like one of those old plates. You know, the old English plates. But it was lovely. It was a hunting scene. Although you couldn't see the fox or the dogs. You could just see the horses and the men and the countryside and that. That wouldn't have been very nice catching foxes. So I've gone past the center of the block. Now I'm just moving it along. I've just got this far to go to the other side of it. And that will be the whole length, well, the whole diagonal of this block. First, first row of quilting. And this, you can see, uh, I wanted to see the uh, quilting, so I've used these beautiful threads. I'm not thinking it will detract from, a, from the pattern at all. I could have done it in all white, but um, I'm thinking that might have been a bit boring, especially seeing the girls are so beautiful and everything. Just my choice. Let me know what you think about um, foundation paper piecing and um, the difference between or how you like both English paper piecing and foundation paper piecing. You know, in the 90s, I used to wonder how um, American quilters got mariners' compass, compasses. So beautiful, those points, so Spot on, and now I know they were foundation paper piece, but at the time I had no idea how that could be so perfect. And then I discovered the secret <laughs> not a secret, but you know, it was a secret to me, and it was so easy <laughs> after that. Although I still haven't made a mariner's compass, and that is still something I could do because I like the weather I like the idea of um, um, lighthouses I like the idea of sextants and you know the mathematics behind how sextants work in the lighthouse but uh, still something to do I am not sure whether I will ever get around to that but for now I've got, to, I've got to get through this pile of um, quilts that are ready to hang quilt. I had a look at them the other day and I'm thinking um, there might be a couple that I will take to my friend Judith's and machine quilt. Still thinking about that. If I do, 
I will also video that because I don't only do hand quilting in my lap, I also do machine quilting, um, which is so fun too and so meditative because you can just sit there for like 40 minutes and just meander around a quilt. So yes, that is the whole row done. You can see what I've done. Little stitches. They're not really they're not really little stitches. These are what they call big stitches. And um, my stitches are not, you know, the 15 stitches to the inch. <laughs> they are big. But they are neat and even, and that's mainly what we want. That's mainly what I want as a hand quilter. And I, I think we all should have a go at big stitching in the lap. <laughs> Going through a few layers, um, you have to be very careful that you catch them all. And when I'm coming to dresses or um, pieces that you don't want quilted in the grid, you have to make sure that you don't catch the back when you're going through the layers so that it's like a tunnel <laughs> with the needle. So I'm just making sure that that's happening and then just continue on. I'd nearly finished this um, this block. I'll show it in a minute. I have four more rows to go, I would say. Just go to the end here. Um, it's very handy to grip tightly with your Thumb so that you know you have a, a good grip and just here there are many layers of fabric under her arm that I have to sew through and I want to make sure that I get them all so there's just one more stitch and then maybe two I just move the pins as I go along so that I don't get pinned going under her arm out the other side and I'll just continue now to the end of the row. I finished um, hand quilting the grid one way now on the block just up to the last row going to take the tape off And as you can see, using the sticky tape makes perfect straight edges <laughs> with um, no marks left on the quilt, no pencil marks or marks that you have to rub out or anything. So yeah, so the next um, tape will go this way. I think the quilting just you know, adds a beautiful dimension to quilts, whether you're machine quilt or your hand quilt. And this type of hand quilting, well, that big 16 block, inch block, only took me, I would say, three or four hours because I had gaps in between. <laughs> I had to go out, had to fiddle around, have a cup of tea. But, yeah, and so there's... Um, eight more blocks to go and it's just lovely I hope you um, enjoy seeing how I hang quilt in my lap and you might like to experiment too that's the end of that tutorial um, on lap quilting I hope you found it interesting um, please like and subscribe if you like my videos that would be really great. Uh, 
very neat technique. Thanks for watching. That's me signing off. Bye.